What's going on everyone? What is poppin'? I am back for some more showdown in the OU tier and the metagame is starting to change. Uh, firstly, we have Dracovich banned from OU and now the hidden ability starters uh, for Cinderace, Rillaboom, and Inteleon are released. So I'd like for each and every one of you to please leave a comment and support me. Tell me what are you looking forward to most about the DLC coming out in a few weeks, um, the Isle of Armor. I'd like to know because there's going to be a lot of cool stuff like potential new mods, GMAX forms, uh, returning Pokemon and stuff. Uh, so it should be really interesting and I have here a team built around Inteleon, Sniper Inteleon, just because it just came out and I think more people are using Cinderace and Rillaboom but I have seen a few Inteleons but this is a really fun set okay let me show you guys focus energy right plus two crit ratio scope lens you already know I've been really liking scope lens a lot I used it on uh, Celebi recently with the plus one crit ratio sniper which powers up the critical hits and then snipe shot 100% crit ratio or accuracy with um Focus Energy Scope Lens, Ice Beam and Dark Pulse are also pretty close too. Like they will um, almost crit like every time. I've used it a lot, so it's been critting a lot for me. And um, really great speed here at 120, which hits 372 one point faster I think, than, uh, than Cinderace. Or it's a little bit faster than Cinderace, which is nice. And then um, I wanted it to be faster than Dragapult and uh, Zero Aura, so I paired it with Webs, Sticky Webs, Stealth Rocks, uh, Shuckle with Mental Herb, so that we get to click one of those um, and bypass taunt on one of the turns and uh, and yeah it's a really fun mod I don't have a spin blocker or a anti defogger however um, during the turn that people try to go for rapid spin or defog we can set up and we have ways to set up with Inteleon with um, this Corviknight here which um, it works really well with screens and nine tails because uh, with screens you're able to take hits better especially from super effective hits from uh, Cinderace, Powerball and Rillaboom uh, not Rillaboom, um, Zero Aura it's also a great Pokemon to deal with, uh, really boom, by the way. <laughs> Just wanted to throw that in there. But um, weakness policy is so great with agility because we take a Powerball or a uh, Plasma Fist from Zero Aura. And then uh, as we agility up and then we can power trip to knock them out. We get the weakness policy boost. Bulk up agility is really fun on hyper offense. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys how that set works too with uh, Inteleon. Then we have Toxicity, modest choice specs because I'm rocking uh, uh, Sticky Web Shuckle. And I think it's a pretty good mod to hit hard and just knock things out. And finally, Mew, which is a really interesting set. Dragon Ants 3 attacks, which you don't see too often, I think, with Life Orb. And um, it's just a really fun sweeper, especially since it Dragon Ants is up and destroys Corviknights trying to defog or trying to switch in. And Drain Punch is great for Hydreigons and, and other Pokemon like that, like Titar. And Psychic Fang just hits really hard too. So that's going to be the team. Let's hop into a game and see how we do. I'm uh, very curious to know. And um, I've been sort of tweaking this team here and there. Uh, Toxtricity used to be Zero Aura. Uh, I actually switched a bunch of moves and stuff, natures and sets. Um, I was running Timid before, but it wasn't hitting hard enough, so I ran Modest. So, yeah, I mean, that, and that's saying something about Toxtricity. I was trying to beat a stall team, but Toxtricity was a little bit underpowered for the task, so I made it Modest instead now. Let me... Uh, well, let's see here. So he has uh, Rillaboom Cinderace, right? Possible court change, but I don't know. Like, I think webs are going to be nice, in, in, especially if this is like Scarf Rillaboom or something. I'd want to, um, I want us to have a Pokemon that's faster than that. And Inteleon can definitely do the trick. So I think webs and rocks are great. He will Vol switch out here though. Into what? I'm not sure. Uh, Weezing. Okay. So we can Encore him into Defog then. I assume that's what he's going to go for here, uh, is a Defog. Right, so he does go for the Defog here. We can Encore him into that and get our webs back up again. As he brings back Rotom. I think we can really only keep one up at a time. So I'm just going to Gambit here. As he goes Weezing and then bring out... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> big toxicity because that's gonna definitely uh oko something if not to it ko uh something else but this thing with the chip damage with the nice little chip damage should be able to knock this out um it looks like this is only defogger too so i assume that a boom burst will suffice versus his team um i feel like the toxicity is might come out more often now that uh I don't know, people are saying Seismitoad's usage is going down or whatever, but I think Seismitoad is still quite nice versus Pokemon such as Rotom and Cinderace, but people can capitalize on that though. 
because of the uh, Dracovish uh, being removed from OU. Let's start a timer here. But I'm, I'm guessing that he's thinking right now <laughs> what he wants to sack. And it will be the Rotom. This thing will not survive. That is gone. Modest Toxicity, by the way. Keep in mind. Um, so I guess now he'll go into Cinderace or Rillaboom. I assume Cinderace. Though he actually goes... No, he actually goes Gyarados. Very interesting. I can't let him set up, though. That's the only problem. I cannot let him get a Dragon Dance off. And he's actually... Oh! He's, uh... That didn't take much at all. Is he AV? Wait, <laughs> wait. That didn't do much. There's gotta be. Or something like that. But we got rid of Rotom, which is really good for us. I think I'm gonna go, uh... I think I'm gonna go Mew here. And DD up. I'm not sure what he'd have for this. But that thing is definitely bulkier than I would have imagined. So he brings in Weezing. That will not uh that will not survive this, I'm pretty sure. Poison Fairy, but like the, the Psyching Fangs. It's gonna do a ton of damage. Yep, that's gone. So webs are there to stay. Webs are there to play. The Powdon comes in now. So versus this, what we can do is just go for, um, well, he's probably defensive, right? So we can go nine tails first as he whirlwinds me out into Inteleon. And that's absolutely beautiful because actually, I don't know if uh, we knock out Gyarados, but we might. Let's focus energy here. He gets up rocks and uh, it might be over. We might just get, we might get to see the Inteleon come through now because this thing has no switch ins. <laughs> So snipe shot, always a critical hit, knock that thing out. Next Pokemon gonna be Gyarados. I think Ice Beam. I could Dark Pulse flinch, but Ice Beam has the additional power here. Um, but then again, Toxicity only did that much, so maybe we maybe we need the flinch. Um Hmm. Let me go for Dark Pulse and see how much it does. Oh, Ice Beam might have knocked it out. But let's get Veil up now. Aurora Veil here so that we can show off the uh, Corviknight. So we get the Veil up here. And then we just go for the uh, Encore in case he... No, his speed's dropped, right? Um, so that's pretty good. I'll just... Uh... I guess Freeze Dry. Then try to get us set up for uh, with Corviknight. Yeah, I think Corviknight can do it. So we have Power Balls, knocks us out, right? I want to see if this works. Um, so we're going to go Corviknight here. Agility up. Agility up. Not bad. Sucker Punch shouldn't knock us out either. So we can Power Trip here. Get rid of this Pokemon. Excellent, excellent. Gyarados comes in. Um... Power trip this thing. Next, get rid of that Pokemon. Last is going to be Rillaboom, which I believe we can just. Uh, I mean, we could Power Trip and then Flare Blitz. Power Trip into Flare Blitz should knock it out. We still have Veil up, anyways. Drum beating. I'll just roost up here, actually. So. Corviknight can win this game for us now. Power Trip should take it out. That's going to be GG. So, very solid game overall to start us off with. And uh, I guess showcasing pretty much every member of the team. In some form or fashion. But I did not expect that like really bulky <laughs> Gyarados set. Usually you would have seen it do a lot more. But that thing was like full like spadef or something. Um... Alright, so Inteleon looks really good here too. Uh, Jellicent is not the best form of a water switch into Inteleon because of Dark Pulse coverage. Um, I think the only thing we got to worry about are things that are faster, like Zero Aura. Zero Aura is uh, a bit of an issue, but we can... Uh, so I don't know if he's core change on this or not. 
So I haven't seen too many uh, court change ones now that uh, Libero is out. I've seen like maybe a few, but more, I've more seen like uh, like Choice Band um, or Heavy Duty Boots bulk up or just U-Turn. He leads Cinderace though. That looks banded. That's definitely uh, Choice Banded. So we got webs up. We can just go for rocks here. Yep, that's a choice banded one. So I don't know if he has a court change on it or not. So what we can do now is we can go Inteleon, right? Inteleon here, go right for the focus energy. Um, as he goes Clefable, beautiful. Probably predicting, or mid ground for Dark Pulse. But look at this damage here, 64% to Clefable. <laughs> that is crazy. And the, spe the special attack drops don't even matter because of critical hits. They do not matter. Como O? Nah, nah. Como O, you're not a switch into this. You kind of are, but Ice Beam, you're not a switch into Ice Beam. Not today. So that thing is gone now. Jellicent comes in. Let's go ahead and put some pressure on this thing with a Dark Pulse. Gone. <laughs> Inteleon. Oh, Inteleon. And the Sticky Webs are up too. Oh, we're going to snipe shot this thing. Oh, Inteleon has just swept this guy entirely. Inteleon is actually good. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. That's actually amazing. Okay, so the first game, we got to see a little bit, right? I mean, everything kind of put in a little bit of work, but the second game really got Inteleon to shine. And that is what I love about it. And I hope the other games can be like that too. I really do. Um, but it's just so nice to see, you know. I guess the, the more underrated of the starters... I feel is uh is getting its chance to shine um this guy has a machamp team it's pretty cool uh, once again jealousent so Intellion might have some fun the hazard control i'm not sure maybe the rotom default rotom or something but i guess we could just set up webs here it was just dynamic punch we get webs up uh we get webs up which is nice i don't think we need rocks Maybe we do need rocks. Oh, he's uh, Encore. But hurts myself in confusion because I can't... Yeah, it's it's whatever. Um, Gonna final gambit here. Get a little bit of chip on you. And then go into my Mew. Now, what can Mew do versus his team? I think we just Psychic Fang straight up. Although he's Encore, right? So I don't think he'd stay in. He does stay in. And Encores me into it. But, um, I'll just get my Veil off then, I guess. He'll Dynamic Punch. I mean, I could Encore him into that. <laughs> it's probably not worth it, though. I'll go back to Mew. As he Bullet Punches here, gonna Psyche Fang just to get rid of this thing. He had a Papaya Berry. Okay, so maybe he would have lived from the range it was at if uh, I didn't get any Hail Chip. Pharaoh dies. <laughs> Pharaoh gets knocked out here. I've never played an Encore Machamp before, though. It's pretty cool. Um, this is a Scarf Rotom. Yep. Scarf Rotom confirmed. So, Sylveon's going to take a huge chunk of damage here, which is actually going to be really, really good. Ooh, nice crit, too. Okay, okay. Uh, in that case, we can just uh, pick this thing off, maybe with uh, Toxtricity. I do like this Pokemon a lot. Um, Overdrive's better because he has Jellicent. And it should hit everything. This will not live at all. Don't know if it would have even lived from without a crit range, but that's uh, it's pretty good. We are modest specs. So now I believe that uh, he'd likely go... I mean, if Cinderace is heavy G boots, that would be the best answer, I, I guess. Or I guess Rotom. But Rotom can't Oko Toxtricity. It does about that much. This should Oko it back. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Um, in that case, what we do is... Mm. So he's locked into that. I guess in that case, we go Inteleon now. Focus energy up here. As he goes Jellicent. This will be our way of getting rid of this Pokemon. So go ahead and knock that out. So that's good. Rotom comes back out here. Alright, so in this case, what do we do? 
We sack nine tails. As he locks himself into Thunderbolt. Um. Corviknight, I don't think it's knocked out by a Thunderbolt. So yeah, we bulk up here now. As he power balls. Power trip this to knock it out. Last is going to be the Rotom. And we knock it out and win the game. And that was a pretty well played game overall. Um, some certain Scarfers that don't get affected by uh, Sticky Web are definitely a, a bit scarier for sure. But as long as we outplay and uh, come through with our Sweeper, that's how we do it. Uh, but I'm glad like Inteleon probably... Like that was actually a, a trickier matchup because he did save the Rotom. That's where rocks would have been useful, I think. If we didn't get confused there, we would have had rocks up. And that Rotom would not have been an issue. I think I played this guy while I was testing. I'm pretty sure he was using... Uh, I think the, the Joey team that he uploaded with Cinderace. I saw a lot of people using that while I was testing too. Um, but yeah, let's lead off with Shuckle here. He might just spam Iron Head though. But I just want to get my webs up, please. I guess we're not doing that. Until I say we are. Yo, Blunder. <laughs> I like that. That's perfect. That is perfect thumbnail material right there. You already know. I mean, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, this is exactly what Blunder would say. Sup. This is exactly what Blunder would say, too. <laughs> Nice. Let me hit him with the uh, the webs here. And I could probably just spam webs too if I wanted. Love the vids. All right, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I definitely will. He might U-turn here. Or he actually goes Corviknight. This is good. This is very, very good. So we can Gambit this and then go into... Uh... He has no ground type, right? So we go Toxtricity, Volt Switch. Volt Switch here is a very good play, I think, because that will allow us to go Mew if he decides to go Como. -O. So this is looking clean. So yep, he brings in Como -O just like I thought. And now we get to bring in the DD Mew, Dragon Dance up here. Corviknight gets blown back by a plus one Flare Blitz, and Webs will be there to stay. I wonder if I should reveal at the end that GG it's MV. I wonder if I should say that. If if we win, if we win. If we can't if we don't win, I can't say that. Of course. Um I guess Psychic Fangs here's the play. Yep, knock it out. So we got a threat right here. I like it. Corviknight comes in, you get blown back by a flare bliss. Check this out. Watch and learn. Blunder, if you're watching this, you better learn. I'm showing you how to be you right now. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and then I guess... Uh, I don't know if he has Sucker Punch or not. He might try to like... Double or pivot to try to call the move or something. Let's see. But we got rid of Como and Corviknight both, which is amazing, amazing for us. He goes Cinderace here for some, for whatever reason. Um, I mean, I'll just Psychic Fangs, I guess. All right, we get rid of Cinderace too? Okay. He didn't have Sucker Punch, I guess. Uh, and then here what we can do is go into... What are we going to? Uh, yeah, Ninetales and um, get our Aurora Veil up. Seems like the play if he tries to set up the Encore. He just overheats here. So that's good. This now allows us to switch out, right? Um, we're going to switch out here into Toxtricity. The Nasty Plot's up, but that won't matter. Boom Burst uh, actually does not Oko it. 
interestingly enough. So I can just knock this out then, in that case. Um, Veil is still up though, which is okay. Don't know what his Dragon Ball set is though, but he goes into it. And then I guess what we can do is go into Inteleon so that we can, I guess, show it off a bit. Though I guess, um, hmm. Maybe it's better going into Ninetales here first because of Infiltrator. Infiltrator going through the screens. Ooh, actually, wait a second. He is, uh, Scarfed. That's Choice Scarf. Isn't it? Right? Because minus one versus nine tails and he was faster? I don't know about that. Crits me. All right, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit of this now. Agility bulk up, I think, is all we need. As he drained punches. This was, I don't know if this was Scarf or not, I forgot. But I'm in agility again just to make sure that I'm faster than Dragapult, because that thing was kind of out of hand right there. GG, fam. Maybe that's something Blender would say. I say it, but. <laughs> It was pretty cool. Oh, he's Cobra Berry. I see. I see. Healing Wish. But that's how you be Blunder. You just, uh, well, actually, it's not really, because if I was, then I probably would have lost that game. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on to the next one. All jokes, of course. You're, you know, all jokes. You know me. Um, is this, uh, this looks like the Joey team. I was wondering when I'd see it when I was searching for a game. <laughs> It's the one, this team has uh, no Sucker Punch on Cinderace. Although I forgot if this was the guy I told to run Sucker Punch on Cinderace. Because I remember from uh, Joy's video, it, he, his didn't have it. Um, they always do that, but it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I just get up rocks here, I believe. Let him set up as much as he wants. He does flamethrower, perfectly fine. Cause now we get to go into uh, Inteleon here, I believe is fine. Inteleon Ice Beam or can also go into Ninetales and Veil too could work. Mm-hmm. And I think Inteleon should take it out now. Excellent. Very nice. All right, so Corviknight comes in here. Should be able to focus energy and snipe shot. Getting rid of Corviknight's nice. I'll code that. So we know that this is, I think, a bulk up zero aura. I'm gonna go here into. I think toxicity seems fine, and just uh, I think sludge wave here is the play. As he knocks off my item. Uh, so I guess I could go Mew here now and Dragon Dance. At this point in time, um, I think it should be good. He actually toxics me, which is fine. Because I can, if I get rid of this thing, that's great. I think the end game can be won with, uh, with Corviknight. Or even Inteleon at this point in time, because we got rid of the Zero Aura, which is amazing. He does protect here. The classic set. Good damage, very good damage. Um, I'm gonna save Mew, actually and go Inteleon as he Moonblasts, which is actually a really good play on his part. I 
I'm gonna save Inteleon actually. Get some damage on this, that's really good. Let's go Corviknight and win. Corviknight should win us the game here. And he does teleport, but we can bulk up and live the hit. Yup, Powerball does let us live the hit. Gives us the weakness policy boost, knock it out. And I don't think he can win this game anymore because Como is stealth rocks. Um, so I should be able to just roost here without him doing much damage to us anyways. Body press, yep, doesn't do much at all. And I can't roost again, which does allow us to, of course, bulk up. Uh, I'll just bulk up here to get more health. Nice, nice. Fantastic. Get some of that, get some of that health, buddy. Uh, yep, bulk up. Actually, let's, let's see how much power trip does. That's a two hit KO. <laughs> <laughs> that is a two hit KO. Gonna just get rid of this because I don't want him to crit me while I roost or anything like that. Because that could be really annoying. Yeah, just hit him up here. And last Pokemon is gonna be Clefable. And that's gonna be GG. So, very, very nice overall. I like how the Inteleon team beats the Cinderace team. You know me. <laughs> it's gotta happen. But he's got the Cinderace and Inteleon. So, what can I say now? I can't say anything now, right? Um, Inteleon is going to be the lead here though. I do want webs. They are quite nice. I don't think I need rocks, so I'm going to Gambit. As he actually focus energies this turn. Very good to know. Um, hmm. I don't think it knocks out Ninetales, so I'm going to go into that and freeze dry. Yeah. Like the Spidef stat let us live there. But the focus energy set is a good set. I'm pretty sure I actually beat him while testing too. Though uh, I'm maybe. I don't remember. Cause that's exactly the set I have. And that I used against him. Uh what do we do? Oh, so I guess we could switch out here. No, we can't really. I'm a veil. He just then headbutts straight up. I'm gonna go Inteleon here in Dark Pulse. As he does go nine tails, um, I do kind of want to go into, uh, actually I'll go Toxtricity here. We should be faster than it, right? He does get the veil up though. I'm going to Volt Switch here. So I do have a way of breaking through his veil in Mew with Psychic Fangs. So that's going to be really nice. Um, I'm going to Dragon Dance up here as he freeze dries again. That's perfect. Psychic Fangs should break through the screens and knock him out. Veil has worn off. Beautiful. Um, that is really good. So if he goes Cinderace, he probably has Sucker Punch, right? Probably has it. Um, so what do we do? So Mew is kind of useful, isn't it? However, he did not choose to go for it. If he did have it, then he uh, definitely uh, got himself there. We could Drain Punch this now. Knock it out, back to full health, and Mew gets the sweep in this game. Necrozma comes in here. Uh, a Flare Blitz should be a 2 KO. As he decides to Heat Wave, that does not knock us out. Another Flare Blitz is our play, I think. Um, we do get knocked out here, unfortunately, though, but Inteleon can come in now. Ice Beam this thing immediately, get some clean damage off. As he does Body Press, but that is going to be GG. Solid game, solid game. Putting in the work, um, which is definitely what I like to see with this team. And Inteleon is definitely proving its worth to me, um, for sure. Definitely becoming my favorite of the starters, at least for now. It used to be really boom for some time, um, but I'm really enjoying Inteleon a lot. This is the same Joey team, isn't it? <laughs> it's the same one. I'll just webs here. Um, Gambit here, I guess, that's fine. Uh, he doesn't set up or anything, which is good, which is good for us. What I can do now is uh, perhaps go into Ninetales here, double into Mew, and double into Toxtricity, predicting Corviknight to come in. As he flash cans again, 
just mindlessly just mindlessly okay okay but it's all good because uh this pokemon is out here right now get the get the oko with the psychic fangs i like it pretty sure corvinite gets oko too so it's flare blitz this plus one life orb adamant doesn't get okoed but uh we got rid of the zero aura which is all we needed for inteleon um and i can just drain punch here to get some health back um, we know for a fact that his Cinderace is not Sucker Punch, so. Yeah, I do watch Joey videos, by the way. <laughs> On my time. If I have time. So I know this set. Can just Psychic Fangs. This thing barely, barely survives. Uh, and then I can go into, um. Yeah, into like Nine Tails or something. Or. Inteleon seems pretty good, too. Just snipe shot this. So I'm pretty sure we can win this game now. Uh, I could try to beat this 1v1. He'll just wish. He's going to wish he never did that because we got the snipe shot on deck. He'll moon blast. Doesn't do much damage, but we can just crit this thing as he wishes. Just need some snipe shots off on this. Uh, let's outplay. Encore. Yep, yep. Yeah, Encore you to protect. <laughs> That's all good. Hydreigon dead. Last is Clefable. Um, and I can just hail Bale. And then watch him sail. Oh, yep. You're done. <laughs> you're done. Encore again. How many protects he got? He's really gonna play it out? Come on, man. You know I can just win. Unless he just wants to struggle. Which he probably does. Uh, and then we just go into... Did I not Encore? Oh, I Encore on the wrong turn. I guess I get to finish him off with this thing then. I'm kind of curious to see how much it does. Yeah, <laughs> he wasn't going to stick around for that. Uh, that's for sure. Um, let's get a couple more. One or two more, maybe. We're on a good roll right here. This is the one that uh, I think Joe used this team. Pretty sure he used it. Um, Shuckle lead here. One web is all we need. One web. He leads Cloyster though, I'm just going to Encore him. Yep, and this was his first mistake. Because we get a web up. And we get some rocks up. And then we Gambit. Because if he Encores me, Mental Herb will be activated. Oh, but he hypnosis me, okay. Puts me to sleep. Uh, in that case, what we can do is... We go Toxtricity here. Hit him with the Volt Switch. Into Shuckle. Because I don't think we need this thing anymore. Actually, I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go Mew here now. Break his screens here. Break these screens entirely. And it should also beat his Conkeller too. So the screens are gone. So his Cloister will take rocks upon switch in. So that's really good to know. But he brings in zero aura. This is good too. This is pretty good. I'll just Psychic Fangs here. Get some clean, clean damage off. As he bulks up. Don't know about that one. I just don't want to invite in Cloister. Because that thing can actually destroy me. Like a, a weakness of this team is Cloister. If we don't play around it well, that is. Uh, okay, so he's just giving me everything else though. He wants to be, he's probably gonna try to do a late game cloister. He goes Mew here. This is the, uh... Oh, you know how to beat this set? I'll show you how to beat this set. Inteleon beats the Cosmic Power Mew. Look at this. 
Dark Pulse, uh, sorry, uh, Snipe Shot here is better, I think, because of the guaranteed hit, uh, crits. That's GG. That's a 6 0 with this team, too. My apologies, Pokemon. My apologies. But I don't think it looked good. <laughs> I don't think it looked good for you there. Uh, yeah, GG. I'm still going. Like, I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this team. And I hope you all are having fun on this journey as well. Um, this journey with Inteleon. Alright, next game. Next game is here. Uh, he's got the Belly Drum Slurp off. I'm not gonna, I've not gone up against one of those yet. Haven't gone up against that. He seems actually very threatening, and there's still a Cloyster there too, so I probably will lose this game. Unless I can outplay him like the others. Or I guess out set up. Alright, let me see what you got. Agency, he knows. I'm, I get to be Blunder again now. <laughs> this is my time to shine. Thankfully, I get to be Blunder. That looks banded to me, isn't it? Actually, I'm not sure. That's not banded? Okay. I'm going to just uh, web here, though. Just in case he was court changed, but he's not. He's just life orb. So we got the we got the uh, the stuff up. All right, let's think about this. If I go toxicity and I click sludge wave, that lets Bisharp set up. That's not good. Um, if I click boom burst, probably still lets Bisharp set up or something else set up. Hmm. If I go Inteleon, it goes through the screens. So I'm going to focus energy here. Intelligent. <laughs> I like it. You don't know about this. Oh, he has T-Wave though. And I get fully parried. Amazing. Fully parried again. Amazing. Fully paired again. Amazing. <laughs> the suspense. Cloyster. At least breakthrough on this thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Snipe shot. High critical hit ratio. Cannot be redirected. That's actually quite cool. Even like in a doubles mechanic where they have like the storm drain mon or whatever. Cannot be redirected. I assume that's what it means. So that's good. He'd have to go into like Hydreigon or something else to knock me out I guess. I guess even Cinderace could knock me out. But yeah he goes Hydreigon. Uh, this thing is paralyzed. I can't do much with it. So he can nasty plot. We're going to go through this thing. Oh, come on. What is with these paras? Come on. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to that. I'll, I guess I'll encore him into Dark Pulse. Get my veil up as well. And then uh, freeze dry to pick this thing off. Bisharp comes in now. Okay. Okay. He'll just hard sucker punch here, right? But check this out, right? Check this out. Mew. Drain punch here. Knock this thing out. We still have our veil up, that, so that's really good. Goes into Grim Snarl. I guess our play is just a Dragon Dance. I don't know if he taunt. He does taunt. So that's okay. Um, I think we can still come through. Pairs me as well. This game is insane. I would have won this game a long time ago. Probably. 
Maybe, maybe. So I guess the belly drum slurp off, but then we can actually psychic fangs to break through the screens and do massive damage to it. Gone. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Um, and this missed anyway, so I mean, let me get paired again. <laughs> How many paras are in this game? That's crazy. I think we're going to end it off there, so um, that's GG. Good game. Thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm glad that we got to see uh, the squad put in the work here. So, like I said, let me know in the comments what you're most excited about for the uh, the DLC drops. Um, you know, could be competitive, could be casual. Just let me know. Look forward to hearing from everyone, and feel free to suggest what you might want to see on the next video. Inteleon is fantastic. That's all I got to say. It's like, that's it. <laughs> I'll probably try out the other ones as well. I did Rillaboom. Actually, it was the first Sword and Shield live that I did um, was Rillaboom uh, with Grassy Terrain before it got banned from uh, not being released. But I'll try out uh, Libero Cinderace eventually too. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next video and peace.